Hey guys, Skitsy here. Welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms Leo Biao Let's Play. Uh, here's the current ownership situation of all the all the closely related territories. Um, Cao Cao still pretty big. Yuan Shu still pretty big. Uh, Sunsei, I uh, I think I said in the last episode he only has these three little territories here. I don't know if he has any more, but I think I think that's Not all he has, again. which is kind of good. Um, we have him cornered over here. Uh, he did take over our, our livestock farm, but we very quickly took it back. He's got one little dude hanging out right here, and his two main forces are kind of holed up at this very small city. Whoops, that is not what I was trying to click on. Let me get out of that. This small city right here, and it shouldn't have very much garrison. Um, so our plan is to march on over and have a big old fight. Hopefully we can put this war to rest. Uh, if we can win big, then we can probably force him into giving us some more territory. be really nice if we could get this trade port out of the deal. So then we'd have this full commandery, um, and then we would only be left fighting Cao Cao, who, um, who's still fighting our vassal. Uh, he's, he's actually fighting a couple people. He's fighting us, Dongmin, the Han Empire, and uh, our old vassal. So there's not very much... Han Empire around him, this stuff down here. Uh, so I'm not sure if he's willing to trek through Yuan Shu's territory to come after us. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. And we'll just deal with our immediate problem right here first. So I think, um, I don't think I, I think I'm out of, out of movement, right? Cause this is the end of a turn. Yeah, this is the end of a turn. So we're low on money. We need this, the people deserted this place? we need this uh, fight to end soon, uh, like faster than soon. We're still not even close to gaining a level. We're considered untrustworthy right now because uh, we broke our deal with our vassal because we, you know, told him we would protect him. But you know, couldn't couldn't take another fight with Yuan Shu. Um, really can't spend any money because we're in the negative. So yeah, we're kind of still in a tough spot. Um, but if we can end this war. I think we'll we'll have some time to recuperate as long as nobody else immediately declares war on us. Um, attitude's still still bad, still pretty bad over here. Really hope the vassal doesn't turn around and, and attack us because we you know gave up on him. But uh, we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and hit the end turn button. We would be no threat to you. What is this? Huh. Let's uh, let's see if we can work this out without giving anything up. I would not mind some money. That'd be that'd be nice. He is currently at at war with Yuan Shu, I think, right? Yeah. I don't know if it's really worth it. I mean, I'd like to get a, a non-aggressive pack with him to just start building up relationships, and hopefully, if he survives, uh, I don't know if he's only this this one territory. If he survives, we can kind of form a form a coalition or whatever. I really like keeping a, kind of a stock of these so I can trade them to save our lives to you know go to peace if we if we really need to. Um, so I guess I'll. I guess I'm fine with this. If we give him 25... 25 coins and two of these little trinkets, we get a non-aggressive pack, which I'm, I'm pretty okay with. Uh, yeah, let, let's do that. We are in concert this day. Of course, it makes Yuan Shu a little, little more angry at us. But oh, is that a whole other army, or is that the one that was sitting here? Uh, I don't know. All right, some more yellow, yellow turban rebellion stuff. Impossible. Yeah, that that was most certainly the guy that was sitting here. I wonder why he separated his forces. Alright, guys, back from assignment, or he will be uh, next turn at least. Meditate Can you reach? Prepare for war. 
most certainly should be able to. Let's uh, move him to the edge so he can join the fight. Under one banner. I have a feeling he'll just kind of run away. Towards destiny. Yep. Avoid diversions. Clarity shines the path to peace. Uh, I guess we'll have to stand here. This means we'll be in enemy territory for a turn. That'll give him a chance to come back. I don't know. I don't, oh, I don't know if it'll put him in the battle. It could. I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to move him up like right on top. Just move him a tiny bit forward. Uh, this this will be tricky if I, if I slip up. If I slip up at all, like we could very much um, be in a bad position and kind of just lose. Well, that's not good. And this is this is very much not good. I'm hoping if I can take this and destroy most of his forces, he won't he won't have the ability to go and fight up here. It'd be really bad if I lost that right now. Down to like uh, four turns before before we're bankrupt. And I've I've literally not been able to invest anything in our economy. I mean, I have some going, but not much at all. We got two turns for that. Let's see what kind of quick deals are on the list. He will negotiate. Not you again. So he's pretty scared right now, I think. What is this worth? Nope, I did it the wrong way. Nope, nope, nope. I always do that. No, I don't want to trade mine. I want you to trade yours. What is that worth? No, he doesn't even want to do it. Well, I guess we're going to have to fight then. Because I'm not I'm not ending this battle without more territory than what I started. Like, I, I need to be in the positive, of, uh, you know, for these wars. Otherwise, I'll, I'll just, you know, lose the war of attrition. Like, I've not really been able to gain anything this, this whole fight. We lost our vassals. We basically have one more territory than the beginning of the game, and we're on, like, turn 32 or something. Um, all right, so I think we end here, right? Let me just double check. I can, can equip some guys with some stuff. Here, you can have the crappy one. Oh, I have that new guy, right? Oh, he's angry already? I'm like forced to have him join my my uh, my team, and he's like immediately angry. <sighs> what an idiot! All right, we're gonna equip that. Hopefully, give him some satisfaction. Probably should have just gone with my instincts and just immediately dismissed him. Like, it's great and all, some some cool legendary dude, but. You're kind of bankrupting us, and you're immediately upset about things. Like, get out of here, dude. Of course, I could sack this dude, who's just kind of whatever. Oh, he has a uh, he has an available point. Not sure how I missed that. Available army? No. I want the uh, the assignments for this guy. I don't even see any that I could take. Oh, he already has it unlocked. It's right here. Hmm. Uh, we'll just do that one. We'll we'll very likely sack that guy. All right, I think we're ready to end the turn. Uh, let's cross our fingers here. <laughs> oh, they're running. Uh, Yuan Shao uh, did a peace deal with Yellow Turbans. I wonder if he was not winning his fight. Man, it's just giving us all kinds of trinkets. 
So, um, I think we most certainly... Oh, you jerk. Get out of here. Man, I really want to kill his forces, but I can't really walk in here. Like, he's probably in ambush stance. Well, I guess we at least take the territory, and then we see what uh, the peace deal might look like. Because I really don't want to lose this, this right here. Remain resolute. All right, so I'm gonna go Two ahead and do arms. this. A successful mission. Oh, there's no garrison. Okay, that is now ours. Um, maybe I'll just move him a tiny bit over here to try and scout. Towards victory. Yeah, I can't see. That's probably a mistake. He's gonna get killed. The goal is fixed. Yeah, they're slightly out of range. That that might have been a kind of a huge mistake, but let's see what kind of peace deal we can do. Again. Yeah, I don't like you very much either. Minus ten. Wonder if I can trade a bunch of stupid trinkets. I can just go unequip a bunch. So they're like two each. I think the uh, higher level one's four. I think it would be worth it to give them four trinkets. Four trinkets, do peace, and we get the trade port. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Oh, we have those. We have a couple bows. Let's see what those are worth. Alright, peace. Uh, trade territory. We want your trade port. Confirm. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of that one. Tradable if unequipped. I thought we had like an extra bow just sitting there. Maybe I'm mistaken. Alright, let me go unequip some stuff. Um, you're kind of okay. Alright, remove that one. I mean, you're you're pretty okay. Let's remove that one. This will be short. People are probably <laughs> gonna scream at me like, uh... I don't really value those trinkets very highly. I mean, so far in this game, I've just been given a stream of them, and I've been able to use them to, uh, you know, trade and and get um, what I want. That should be close to ten. Yeah, it's exactly ten. I mean, hmm, I don't, I don't know. Like that'll drop him down to one one territory I think it'll eliminate him being able to take this we'll be at peace and we only have Sao Sao to worry about and I get another territory so this is more money like I think this is a good deal like I think I should do this let me see if I can get literally anything else even if it's just like a coin I don't think so you won't Okay, we're we're just gonna do it. See how it turns out. A satisfactory deal. Oh, I guess he didn't. He has. Uh, it looks like one more over here, unless he's expanded down this way. So at least we have him. You know, he has less territory than when he started. So I'm I'm happy about that. And he can't turn around and kill this guy. We have this small town. Who, buddy? Okay, so. I think we're in slightly better shape. I mean, nobody nobody likes us still, but that's okay. We can hopefully get into a coalition with Leo Bay once everyone kind of starts gaining levels. We just have Sao Sao to kind of worry about. Um, since we're already treacherous, we might as well just take over this guy's territory. 
he's at war with everyone we were at war with. So he pretty much should have nothing left. Um, so I should probably take advantage and, and take over his territory here while they're kind of all fighting. Um, hopefully this guy doesn't just walk over here. It's kind of a race to who can take over his territory, I guess. Can you move anymore? Without no. Rest, intent is blunted. All right, so assignments. Um, maybe we put the replenishment in this one. Not that we're really hurting at all, but if the plan is to go over here and attack and try and take this, we can just skip right back over here and take advantage of the of the high replenishment. So we're still in the negative though. To war. And this is the only guy that mm. God, I really I really should just sack this dude. Or instead of instead of the replenishment, we could just go for uh commerce or peasantry. It's not it's not that much money. Even 50% peasantry would only be 150 we could sack that guy how much are you getting paid 150 this guy's getting 125 I really don't want to get rid of anybody resist the chaos of change Well, we have another couple turns before we really need to make a decision on that. Um, I know it's kind of wasting time. We have another uh, another buff we can do. Plus 15% to income. What's the other one? 10% to in. Uh, oh, sorry, not income. Industry. This one is 10% to industry and commerce. That's probably the better one to do. That should boost us a, a bit. All right, I think I think we'll wait on trying to sack anyone or do anything like that. Um, we will go ahead and have this guy do some replenishment in this one. So, because I mean, it's this entire commandery here, so that gives us a lot of wiggle room to take advantage of that plus fifteen. Um, what else do we need to do? Yeah, one more turn for that. Let's see what kind of deals. Cao Cao does not want a peace with us at all. Let's see how badly he doesn't. I hate how I can't click on that to see. I have to go back to negotiate, click on him, negotiate, China can and do peace this way. Mine, it's only 11. It's only 11. Man, that's like one fight. That's one fight of us winning. And like knocking about a, knocking out a bunch of his uh, units would would get us peace with him, and then we would have successfully negotiated uh, peace with all three and have like positive territory. So I do think I want to slide down here and see if he has anything garrisoned here, and just like, I mean, hopefully it doesn't make us super treacherous or whatever. But if we can take over these two, I, I think that would put us in a pretty good spot, and it would. We'd be backed up against the Han over here, who is not um, not aggressive with us, and uh, could potentially put us in a good position to attack back at uh, Cao Cao over here. So I think that's kind of the immediate plan. So let's, uh, let's hit end turn. Yeah, get the heck out of my territory, dude. Oh, you know what I? Oh, you know what I really, really, really need to do is. Uh... You are a threat that must be. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have to worry about um, declaring war on him since he just did it for us. Okay, that's fine. Oh, the guy who murdered Cao Cao's dad is dead now. Remain hungry. A swordsman in your realm is known to be unbeatable, and you'll enjoy many evenings watching him defeat challengers in fighting matches. 
However, one evening he is challenged by a peasant armed with a simple homemade bamboo staff in place of a store sword. The warrior scoffs, but the peasant's fighting style is unknown to him, and he is soon laid low by a deaf movement of the staff. You contemplate this and conclude that flexibility is the greatest weapon against chaos. In his time, you yourself studied a new skill. Oh, that's fancy. We don't have corruption to deal with right now, but that is a pretty good, pretty good trinket. I like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and put it on now. Sweet. I really need to do something with this guy before he uh, gets too angry. All right, I think this is the one we want to do. Both of those will give us 30 uh, industry. I think this, even though it's less, less industry, but will give us both. I think that's a good one to do. Getting close. Ambushes. Yeah, he was ambushed. Water clock. That's really good to put on. Uh, yeah, let's put the water clock on someone. Um, yeah. Plus 3% replenishment to the entire army now. This, this was a change, I think, in the most recent patch. Because it used to be only the retinue, if I'm remembering that correctly. Um, if I'm, if I'm wrong about that, feel free to correct me, but I'm pretty sure that was recently changed all right so we need to make a trek over here he doesn't have much it doesn't look like at least so let's uh yeah slide on over here let's keep both of our armies together there's no reason to separate them right now maintain momentum yeah that public order could could be an issue. 31 turns right now, but if it gets any less, yeah, we're, we're going to try and quickly take this over. Take both these over. That would be super ideal. Like, really, really beneficial. All right, so we did our reform. Let's see. South South still at no. Yeah, I don't know why you, uh, you decided to go to war with us. You were really angry at us. <laughs> I'm going to be super mad if we get over here and then you on shoe and just like, you know, boop, mine, or sal sal, just goes like, boop, mine, that'd be, that'd be pretty upsetting. So I think we're really close to stabilizing as long as nobody else like declares war on us relatively quickly. Attitudes are still pretty horrific. Why aren't you going to, into negotiation with this guy? Not you again. So we're only at negative 24 with this guy. Um, we don't have any uh, agreements right now to kind of build any relationship. So, well, it looks like at the very bottom, trending towards negative 23. Uh, we'll, it'll get slowly better over time, but we, we actually have a mission to kill this dude. So I think once we stabilize, invest in our economy a little bit, uh, go to peace with Sao Sao, We'll want to go back and, and have another go at uh, Sunset. Um, but you know what I, I think I need to do here? I need to cancel. A welcome sight. I need to cancel that. Which is going to make him angry. But I really need to uh, get another trade partner because we can't even reach him. I'm hoping I can trade with uh, Leo Boo. Leo Bay. Lubu, uh, Liu Bei, sorry. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna risk pissing this guy off. Let's see what is we at? He'll get pretty close down to, to zero, but I don't. There's no reason for him to attack us. Uh, his vassal is pretty happy with us, so we're doing this. Your honesty is appreciated. And uh, let's see, trade agreement. <laughs> we can only trade with Sunsei. That's 365 that we absolutely need. No, uh, okay. And we have to pay him a little bit. I think we can make that work. 
It'll be a net positive for us. 60. Will he take 59? Yep. Oh my god, I wish this would I wish this worked a little better where you could like I know you can do these minus 10% plus 10%, but just like take it to the number that makes it even if that's what you want. All right. So we're going to pay him 56 a turn. So we'll have a trade agreement and making payments to him for 10 turns that will definitely increase our diplomacy so there's not really much of a chance he'll turn around and attack us so we'll definitely play the long game of okay we'll do some trading for now you know we had a previous war we don't really like each other and we'll come back and kill him later type of thing um so yeah hopefully we can just deal with our previous vassal and then Sao Sao and then we're kind of in an okay spot so let's propose that I was really hoping I could trade with uh, Leo, B, uh, Leo Bay but I guess there's not a not a full connection to both of our capitals or at least seemingly not alright so we're really close to that um, just thinking if there's anything else we need to take care of. One, two, three. All right, we're in the positive, finally, again. All right, once these guys get out of my territory, faction support, current change. Um, I think this will slowly start to stabilize. I guess we'll see. It should, theoretically. I'd really like to get back at Yuan Shu. Let us get this over. We're still pretty even, which means he has about as much troops as I do. He's poor on food, so if there's a way to take away food, I don't think he has any food territory, so he's probably buying food or just kind of starving. Um, okay, let's hit the button. Dude, get out of my territory. Should have gone down the river. Oh, he's trying to race me over here. Yeah, we'll definitely get there first. Oh, he's like leaving it wide open too. Brothers in arms. Um, we get some plus satisfaction. Our two main generals here are uh, good buddies now. Oh, we got a we got a better horsey. Which one's better? Oh, it's literally already the same thing. We can give it to this guy. There you go. Oh, he doesn't have anything equipped. He doesn't really need satisfaction. I guess we could give him a bow. I'll give him this one. I want to give this bow back to this guy once we can start using him. Alright. So oh. we're kind of in a race to to see who can take over this this spot first. Uh, we can start uh, working on the siege right now. Yeah, I think we go ahead and set that up. So let's get him within range. Right there. Then we'll walk down and attack. Oh, that is... Okay. Thanks, advisor. I didn't really need that. Uh, Yeah, we're a decisive victory, but... We can't just delegate, we have to actually do a siege, so we'll be here for a, tu a turn or two. Um, Strike siege. One. So yeah, I think we're in a much better position than we were previously. Uh, this is going to be the end of this video. Tips, tricks, comments, strategies, whatever you got, I'd appreciate them. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time.